Hey everybody, Phil here for WM Experts, and let's take a quick look at the new Bing app on Windows Mobile. We'll just load it up here. It loads up pretty quick. No real complaints. Um, in some ways, it's a lot like the old one, and in some ways, it's a lot like the new one. As you can tell, the UI has, at least at first, has been uh, completely redone. You got the beautiful Bing wallpaper. Let's take a look at the maps, because that's what most of us will be using it for. And kind of the usual thing, I'm not crazy about the giant search bar still sitting on top. That takes up some pretty good real estate. And there's my airport, my little town of Pensacola. And we'll scroll around here just so you can see. Zoom out a little bit so you can see some more. Refresh isn't great. You know, it's not terrible. It's what you're used to. I'm on Wi-Fi, so that helps a little bit. Now, look at that. They even have traffic here for... Uh, for the interstates running through Pensacola. That's a little surprising. There you can see the, the panning again. We you know, do have a good amount of tiling. And there's the green line showing traffic is good, so that's good. And there's a quick little soft menu. You can turn traffic off. And let's see what the uh, road view looks like, the map view without the satellite. Again, pretty much what you're used to. Nice finger-friendly buttons down there at the bottom. And we'll zoom out a little more. Pushing that little car button will get you uh, the directions menu. And pushing the little person button is going to locate me, but we'll go back to the home menu now. And there's that giant search bar up at the top. And let's just search for nothing. After you search for one thing, whatever you search for last just sticks up there and it gets a little annoying. But you do have other categories you can go through. Restaurant, shopping, nightlife, hotels, transportation, all that good stuff. And you can also use the same old speak to search that worked before, it works now. So let's look for restaurants in Pensacola. And sure enough, Pensacola restaurants. The searches are all pretty quick. I didn't really have any complaints about that. And there's a decent little list of kind of the usual places around here. You know, nothing spectacular on the first screen. And if you choose a restaurant, you get a map there. You have an option to call them. You got star ratings. I'm not quite sure where those come from. And let's look at the news, shall we? You got US News, local news, business. Let's see what's under U.S. News. Sorry about that, just got a couple emails. And the list isn't huge, but it's there. What's kind of interesting is local news. So it asks you to drill down to your state and then kind of consider state news to be local news. Not so much. Um, I don't know about you guys, but where I am, you know, they'll call Miami News, Pensacola News. Miami is about as far away as Chicago for me. Well, let's go back to the home screen, uh, get directions, you know, you've seen that start and end. It'll also do walking directions, which is nice. And recent and favorites. You can clear the list if you want to uh, hide stuff like Tiger Woods. And let's take a quick look at the settings while we're here, because I'm a big settings nerd. Turn auto suggest off and on. Uh, GPS is on by default, that's important to note. And you can do a safe search, so you can't search for porn great all right you got tips and tricks a fact about screen and feedback so let's take a look at the about screen there's version 5.0 overall uh, Bing is not bad some people are really liking it some don't I'm in it's good see you everybody